Hey YouTube, this is Redux Gaming, and today we're going to do a quick video on how to make a Minecraft 1.9 spigot bucket server so you guys can add all sorts of cool plugins and features to your uh, spiffy 1.9 server. Uh, before we get started, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Jeremy, and I'm here with. Hello, I'm Block Ninja or Tyler. And uh, we just wanted to welcome to our welcome you guys to our channel. Uh, we're a new ch channel, and uh, if you guys want to come and hang out with us and play on our server or on our Teamspeak, the information will be in the description below. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is create a folder on your desktop and call it whatever you want, but just make sure you know what it is. So I have my folder right here. Next thing you're going to want to do is look in the description and go to the website that's provided in the description. It should be called getspigot.org. Okay, so there we go. That's what the website looks like. You just go to get spigot 1.9 or get craft bucket 1.9. It's really your preference, whatever one you guys like to use. Um, I like spigot. Um, and then once you download the jar file, place it into your folder like so. It should look just like that. And then you're gonna need to create a batch file to start it. So what you're gonna wanna do is create a new text document like so. And then you're going to want to take this fancy code that's in the description as well. Take this code, copy it, and then you're going to want to paste it into your text document. Like that. That easy. And you can change the maximum, minimum memory values as you like. Um, I'm not going to go over that in this video. But you can change that as you please. And then what you're going to want to do is create something like Call it start.bat or run.bat, but make sure you add the .bat to it that specifies that it is a batch file. So mine is called run.bat, and then make sure you have it set to all files so it can uh, create that batch file. And then you're just going to want to save it. I'm not going to save mine because I already have a batch file, so it would be pretty much pointless to do so. And... It should look just like this. Once you have this batch file, you're going to want to double click it. It'll take a few seconds to open up here. You have to accept the EULA, of course. Uh, so we're going to close that out really quick. And then we go into the EULA folder like so. And it will look like this. Down here at the bottom, you just have to change that false to true. Pretty simple, right, guys? And you just save the changes and then go ahead and run the batch file again. <clears throat> and it will create all the necessary files. And while it's doing that, I will go ahead and show you how to port forward. Don't worry, this isn't too tricky. It is different on different routers and such. But the principle is generally the same thing. So what you're going to want to do, whether you're on Windows 7, 8, 10, whatever it is, you got to uh, run, so type in run, and you will see the run open up. You type in cmd, cmd, like command, and then it should open up a black window like this. You're going to want to type in ipconfig. So go ahead and write down the following information, your default gateway and your IPv4 address. So write those down or memorize them, whatever you need to do, because we will need that information here. And I'm gonna close that out. I have mine memorized. Next, what we're gonna do is open up a web browser and type in our default gateway into the web bar. Okay. It'll pull up your router information. You might have to log in. Uh, so make sure you have the login credentials to do that. This uh, is AT&T UVerse. Um, yours might be different if you have like a Comcast or a Belkin or whatever kind of router that you might have. Um, so I could only show you on the uh, AT&T because it will be different, like I said, for many others. Um, this 
Mine is under firewall. Yours might be under advanced or port forwarding, port triggering, something along those lines. Um, they all differ from routers, like I said. So you just click this one right here under the firewall, the applications, and then you'll see um, that you have to pick, for mine, you'll have to specify a particular computer. Um, but usually, um, on most routers, what you have to do is put in the IPv4 address. When I ask for the IP address, when you're port forwarding, um, you just put in the IPv4 address. That's the one that we copied down earlier. And then you have to port forward the following ports, 25565, because that is the port number that Minecraft uses by default. You can change that if you want, but we're, st we're sticking completely default here. So 25565, um, you're going to want to do it for both TCP and UDP. I've done it for both already. Um, and uh, as you can see, if I put in my... If I put in my IPv4 address here, it'll pop up with the information. Um, I had to create custom definitions because there's a list here that I could use already predefined um, ports, but I had to create this one. So I did one for TCP and one for UDP. And then I had to save the changes, and some routers you might have to restart them. Um, but the advanced ones kind of just auto update on their own, which is kind of nice. So once you have the ports completely port forwarded to 25565, um, then you're ready to go ahead and grab your IP address to give to your friends so they can play with you. So go to Google and type in what's my IP. And usually I just click the first link, what's my IP address. And then you should see your IP address that looks something similar to this. It could be a little bit different, um, but that's no big deal. Just copy that number. And then I'm, I'm going to have Block Ninja um, join my server. Now that it's online, he should be able to play on it with me since I've port forwarded. So go ahead and join me, Block, on the server. I'm going to refresh it, and it's showing online. And this is 1.9, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> I will show you, if you don't believe it. Um, it says right there, 1.9. Go back into the game. And Block Ninja's on the server with me. All right. There he is. So there we go, guys. You got a, a fully... Functioning Minecraft 1.9 spigot slash bucket server um, that you can play on with your friends and have fun um, doing whatever the heck you like to do in Minecraft. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching the video and see you guys later.